Looks like it's going pretty good. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Did you really need to say that right now? <laughs> doing straight lines and teardrop zero turns on the end. So now, did you say this is GPS all the way? Or no, no, it's, it's no GPS, all okay. camera, okay. All, all computer vision, sees objects and identifies them. And That's wild. It's, it's always uh, triangulating its position off of fixed objects around it, so it knows where it is. Yeah, I'm sure that'll be a... Those are all the cameras in the front there? The top? Yeah, the top part is, uh -huh. yeah. Exactly on the same box. And those on the on the next version, those are gonna be cameras like I have in my cell phone right here, about as big of a penny. Uh, okay. And they'll just be mounted down low. It doesn't have to be mounted up that high. That's just how we did it on this one. Uh, not that I know with this size. I mean, there are yeah, some. Ones, but yeah, I mean, there are some really expensive ones that use a lot of GPS and they're real expensive lidar. Uh -huh. This, what what we like about this is it's very inexpensive to do this, so it's actually something that's practical, you know. Instead of, I'd say it's more reliable than the GPS. Well, that's yeah, that's why we're doing it. You don't have to worry about getting under trees and losing yeah. your signal because yeah. it's always you can go in caves or whatever. Skyscrapers. Yeah. All that stuff. Yeah. 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 See how the rear wheel never stops turning so it doesn't dig up the, uh -huh. the grass on the inside. Yep. But that's all can be programmed however you want it to, whatever shapes you want it to do. You can program it to do diagonal cuts one time and straight the next. And There's four people with them in their pockets right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we have two completely independent systems as well. Woo! All right.